Good evening, wherever you are on this uh, most pleasant evening. There has been a clamour to get inside the ground tonight for a much-anticipated game. The uh, roads outside of the stadium have been bumper to bumper with traffic. The car parks are full. There is a torrent of humankind making its way from the nearby station and we expect every seat to be filled. An atmosphere of uh, great expectation and excitement. So what a stage for the players to take to here ahead of such an important game. And we rise now for the Danish national anthem. Slovenia have opted for a 4-5-1 formation, it appears, Jim. Well, most teams that use this system, Peter, will work it in a, a way where, yes, they'll have a 4-5-1 shape off the ball and ideally a 4-3-3 shape on it. We often see that 4-1-4-1 shape too, and that has an obvious flexibility about it. It's a, it's a popular managerial selection because of that. It's just extremely flexible with all the numbers I've mentioned. So that's got things on the way. Jim, who do you reckon is pivotal? Yeah, Christian Eriksen. He's super accurate with both feet, Peter, and able to deliver a cross or a through ball with just the perfect bend or indeed weight. All this allied to great awareness and vision, which make him a massive creative talent. What I really like about Ericsson, though, is that he's got the energy and the determination to keep going for 90 minutes every game. He's a trier. Yes, getting the best out of him will count for so much. Well played, he saw that coming. Now the counter. Delaney. Josip Ilicic. He's managed to get that all wrong. Kia. And it's played forward, and it's Ericsson. Tries to locate someone up front. Denmark are really pouncing on any stray passes in midfield. We're talking seconds from interception to the back of the net. It's counter-attacking heaven. Denmark, go ahead, one goal to the good. Forward it goes. That's a good intervention, things could have got far worse than that. It's a good-looking diving header! No mistake! Oh, super! 
super header, wonderfully acrobatic. You know, it takes a lot of courage to do that, to throw yourself at the ball, knowing you can catch a boot in the head. Well done, son. And that has added a whole new complexion to the game. Well, there's resilience for you, Peter. As a side, they never lost focus despite the setback, and this is thoroughly merited for me. Now they can go on better, possibly. Ilicic gets it out to the wing. Well, they are working very hard to get it wide now, Jim. Yeah, I think they've decided to concentrate on, on working the flanks to help the production line. It's, uh, it's where the room is. through the first period and it's looking quite a game here he gets past his man there are a few waiting for shapes for an overhead it didn't come off but an audacious effort Hulson certainly showed brilliant imagination there to take on such a high tower of skill Hoists it forward, and now they can launch a counter. Gets it back. Uh, that looks a foul. Yep, referee's given it. chance here what can they make of it so to pass or to shoot that is his question it's a long pass but not the most accurate Kia looks to bypass the midfield cuts it out That's a quick glance. He is not one readily to admit defeat. Don't be surprised if he tries that again. Going through. And he's cut it out. away Hoiberg Christensen good challenge he just stood firm K 
Shah. Shah plays it forward. Delaney. Knocks. Gets up to head it! No, oh, he couldn't get the direction he needed. Slovenia can defend those situations better by stopping the crosser at source. Poulsen. And that'll be the final action of the first half. So, a very watchable game so far. Action at both ends and the team's level. And when they come for the break with nothing to separate them, the score 1-1. Denmark get the second half started. Denmark can feel really happy with themselves. The scoreline doesn't back it up, but they've played with urgency and purpose and can't afford to lose patience in this second half. They've got to persevere. Kurtic. A really good feat from him. Yeah, it looks like a, a change of approach, and it may just freshen things up. Oh, lots to admire in the run and the defending. That's one way of trying to make things happen. There's a few who could follow that example. Kurtic. That is terrific skill. A spectacular effort! Is fabulous. Just drink it in. Slovenia take the lead. Yeah, they deserve great credit for turning things around, but they'll now need the defensive resilience to equal that attack and flair. Gets wrestled off the ball. Tries to get it forward quickly. And it's been intercepted, and that will come to nothing. into a great leap! Denmark showing a little more urgency now, and to be honest, Peter, this is what's required. Well, hit and hope is just about the sum of it, isn't it, Jim? Spot on, Peter. It's a throw in. Cross was inch perfect and the header unerring. Well, as contact goes, that was tremendous and it helped him to direct it exactly where he wanted into that net. I think when it comes to the aerial department, this fella is definitely no slouch.
so all square and not for the first time well they just couldn't have responded any better peter yeah there's the old cliche about how teams can lose focus after scoring but you still have to take your chances brilliant and it's played forward Great strength, too strong for his opponent. Oh, he's going to be pulled back for that one. So who is the target now? He's having a look at what's available. Shade too heavy, people can pick that up. Delaney. And that's put paid to a promising move. That'll be a throw in. It's Kurtic. He's had a look. And the whistle's gone, presumably for offside. This defence just doesn't trust itself to, to play a higher line. Frighten the people getting in behind. Yeah, absolutely. It just opens up the opportunity of not only strikers getting behind, but the runners from midfield too. Hoiberg plays it forward. Deflected behind for a corner kick. Concentration levels are very good, and so is the commitment. This game could yet yield a winner. Hoists it forward. Oh, well intercepted, really alert to the danger. That's good progress. Has a pop! Oh, he's managed to miss it. It's a very watchable game, isn't it? Any goal from here could, could well be the winner. Pilsen. Now it's Ericsson. Denmark showing a good level of intensity at this stage. They're calling on all their resources now. Just five minutes left. Looking to win it with time against them. Foot in. Yeah, that does look a foul. Referee's given a free kick. And no surprise, that's a booking. Well, the players are making their point, but the ref clearly isn't interested. He's waved them all away. And this is the big, big chance. Looking to think it in. You wonder if that's it now, but there may be one more opportunity, Peter, for a late, late steal here. Christensen. Time is ticking away, and they're playing as if they're defending a lead. They've got to get it up the pitch. To stoppage time, whistle due any moment. He's left his man. Up to meet it! He's to get his 
head on that, but couldn't score. And that will be the final act. A game chock full of moments and talking points. It could have gone either way, but chose in the end to share its spoils. It ends in a highly entertaining draw. How do you look back on the game then, Jim? Slovenia can take a lot from this. They were expected to be well beaten, but determination produced a very fair result. Many thanks to Jim, and with that, it is a very good night to you.